Shalom, giving all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, Brachadam to the whole for the elect. And as the video described, never argue with a fool because, um, you know, when a wise man tries to go back and forth with a foolish man, um, pretty much you won't be able to tell the difference. So just real quick, Ecclesiastes or Sirach chapter 22, verse 13, it says, talk not much with the fool and go not to him that have no understanding. Beware of him, lest thou have trouble and thou shalt never be defiled with his fooleries. Depart from him and thou shalt find rest and never be disquieted with madness. All right. So again, it says, talk not much with a fool and go not to him that have no understanding because pretty much um, like the scriptures talk about how that basically anyone that wanders out of the way of, uh, of, of wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, you're basically in the congregation of the dead, you know, roughly paraphrasing it. And because um, pretty much these people, man, they are spiritually dead you know they're dead from the neck up and you know the elites um they make mockery of our people and this is why they make all these zombie like tv shows and movies so on and so forth mocking you you israelites all right because you're spiritually dead man you know and um even got as far as, because a lot of our people, they 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 even go at they're they're so destroyed. You know, a lot of our people will go as far as to say they don't believe in God. Period. You know, and what does the scripture say? I'm gonna get this real quick. I'm gonna get this real quick. Just bear with me real quick. Have some technical difficulties. So Psalm chapter 14 and verse one, it says, the fool has said in his heart, there is no power. They are corrupt. They have done abominable works. There is none that doeth good. So, like I said, because even the scriptures, the Lord um, referred to our people as sottish children. All right. Which the word sottish goes into stupid, and, you know, because you're a complete fool. If if you believe if you're an Israelite and you believe that there is no power, you're a complete idiot. All right. But nevertheless, like I said, or like I quoted, um, he that wandereth out of the way of, uh, of uh, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding there in the congregation of the dead, roughly paraphrasing it. You see, so, you know, um, and this is why the apostles always say, man, um, it's all about the elect, you know, because only the elect are going to get it, you know, um, two thirds, they're, they're done for, man, you know, and there's no point in, you know, being all caught up with these people because they're going to be destroyed, man, you know, so just a few more precepts. Like I said, I'm not trying to make this too long. We get this in Proverbs 26. Proverbs 26. Starting at verse 4, it says, Answer not a fool according to his folly, lest thou also be like unto him. Because like I said, you know, a wise man, a prudent man, um, <laughs> arguing going back and forth to you know with the with with the fool um you won't be able to tell the difference you know there, there's no point in going back with someone who has no understanding you know lest you be you know lest you're looked at as a fool yourself so there's, it's, it's it's no point man you know especially like i said this truth you know because hey we're not in the business of trying to convince anyone all right 
like the apostle off the coast, man. If a nigga can't get it, man, we're moving on, man. And that that's just how it is. All right. We're not we're not trying to convince anyone. You know, again, this is only for the elect, you know, trying to tell our people to repent because hey, Yahweh Bashim al Shai is getting ready to bring some horrendous judgments. And if you don't want to get right, then that's on you. All right. It's no point in, you know, going back and forth and, you know, with with with, with debates and unity camps and, and things like that. It's, it's 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 no point in all that, you know. Our, our job, our, our main mission, our main focus is doing this work, man. Feeding the flock, edifying the flock, building the building, the 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 the, the, the temple, contri contributing to the building of the temple, the third temple, which we are the temple. You know, and that's all it's about, man. You know, so I'm gonna read verse uh, was that five? It says, "Answer a fool according to his folly, lest he be wise in his own deceit." Or excuse me, lest he be wise in his own conceit. But the point in verse four again says, "Answer not a fool according to his folly, lest thou be, lest thou also be like unto him." So there it is. We get this last one. But like I said, not in the business of trying to convince anyone. All right, not damn sure not trying to beg anyone. You know, um, either you're gonna get it or you're gonna get it. Or you're either gonna get it or you're not gonna get it. So I'm gonna get this. Matter of fact, I have another one. I wanna that popped in my head. I wanna bring that out. Romans chapter 14 and verse 5. It says, One man esteemeth one day above another, another esteemeth every day alike. Let every man be fully persuaded in his own mind. Alright, so you know, whatever decision you know, other individuals make, then, hey, you know, that's just, that's just what it is, you know, um, there's another one, I'm going to read this here. In James. James chapter 5. James chapter 5 and verse 12. But above all things, my brethren, swear not, neither by heaven, neither by the earth, neither by any other oath. But let your yea be yea, let, let your yea be yea, and your nay, nay, lest ye fall into condemnation. So, again, man, like I read a prior, um, let every man be persuaded in his own mind. Um, there's no point in, you know, going back and forth with people, you know, no point in arguing with these people, you know, trying to convince these people they're not going to get it. All right. Because the scriptures tell you, man, um, um, those that don't believe in the truth, man, they're 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 condemned. And I'm gonna go ahead and get that real quick. Go ahead and get that. Second Thessalonians, and again, forgive me, I'm having some technical difficulties. Um, Second Thessalonians chapter two, verse twelve, that they all might be damned who believed, who believed not in the truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. So again, um, every man, every woman, they're going to be persuaded in their own mind. There's no point in going back and forth 
with these people, trying to convince these people. No point in arguing with a, a fool, lest you be counted as one. All right. So just a quick hit, man. Uh, hopefully this was edifying. Giving all praises to Yahweh Bashem El Shai. Devonis to the apostles of Great Millstone. Yahweh Bashem El Shai. Break a thumb to the hopefully elect Lord's will. Till next time, Shalom.